Explore the mystical side of life in a multi-dimensional way. Welcome to Integrative Mystic with Anne Vivian. Hello and welcome to Integrative Mystic. My name is Anne Vivian. Welcome to the party, the Archangel party. We are going to go on a journey in this series exploring the archangels my beautiful angelic friends thank you so much for joining me i am really excited about this series i'm having so much fun connecting with the archangels i have worked with the archangels for years and it is such a joy and an honor to share my journey and my musings and what i have learned i'd love to share it with you so welcome so glad you joined me here on Integrative Mystic, where we explore an integrative approach to spirituality and magic and divine consciousness and applied magic to this earthly life, creating alchemical transformations. This is Integrative Mystic on mindbodyspirit.fm. I'm so honored to be on this amazing podcast network. Don't forget to find me on iTunes, Google, or Spotify, and subscribe. Please leave a review. Come on in. I'd like to invite you to step into sacred space with me. Step into this liminal, angelic world. Feel the earth. Feel the earth in your body. Feel your connection to the earth. Feel the angels, feel the angels around you. They're always around us. Feel the angels in your body. They're, they're mirroring our own higher consciousness. You can feel that higher consciousness as you feel the angels around you. I love how angels remind us that we're always connected to source. We're always divinely connected. We're always supported and loved. Welcome. In today's integrative mystic episode, we're going to go on a journey, a a journey of forgiveness, a journey of abundance, a journey of transmutation with Archangel Zadkiel. I have worked with Zadkiel over the years and he is quite powerful. I can't wait to share share my experiences and research with you. So just to refresh your memory, or perhaps you haven't heard the last episode in this series, I'm going to go through each archangel and I am going to share with you the psychic information that I have derived doing my own psychic research. I like to call envelope divination. What is envelope divination? I have taken the archangels, I have written their names down on an index card. I have put them in blank envelopes and I have shuffled and thrown around those, those envelopes. And then, so I don't consciously know which archangel is in which envelope, which archangel name is within each envelope. And then uh, in meditation, I tune into the envelope. I ask for information from that archangel. Um, on written, whose name is written on the index card for each one. And I write down without knowing which one consciously I'm, I'm um, tuning into what information I'm getting. That way I avoid assumptions and conscious associations with the archangel. And I'm just tuning in psychically and intuitively to the images, information, words, feelings, channeled messages that I get for each archangel. I'm sharing that with you as well as the research and uh, more common information and information from the Kabbalah and esoteric mystical traditions, Judaism, Christianity about these archangels so that you can get this integrative view about the archangels. And I would like to invite you to do this envelope divination with me Write down the archangels' names, shuffle them, put yourself in a meditative state, 
hold that envelope in your hands and ask that archangel whose name is written on the index card inside that envelope to tell you about him or herself. It's kind of amazing. This is a, a really cool way to connect with the archangels in a really personal way. So I'm going to share with you what they have shared with me when I, when I tune in. Um, and just to refresh your memory, I'm going to be referring to the Kabbalah, the tree of life, which is the tree of life is from the mystical Jewish text, the Kabbalah. And it is basically a structure of archetypal consciousness of human and universal consciousness of so these archetypal patterns. And it's a great way to understand the structure, the archetypal structure to ourselves, to other humans, to the universe, to everything. I'm also going to be referring to the seven rays. What are the seven rays in Western esoteric mystical traditions? The seven rays refer to seven unique creative forces. They correlate to the seven chakras, the seven colors of the rainbow. They also help us understand archetypal information. And so I'm going to be referring to if an archangel is associated with a ray and it can, you know, the, the tree of life, the Kabbalah, the, the seven rays, the chakras, they all, all of these help you understand the archetypal energy of the angels. I'm going to be um, talking about and exploring with you. And I love exploring archetypal information because it helps me to see things from multiple perspectives and from different cultural and um, different paradigm approaches and perspectives and structures, it helps me to get a better understanding of an energy or a concept. So I'm going to be exploring all of that, sharing all of that with you. Today, we're going to explore Archangel Zadkiel. And just to add something to my intro on Archangels, I wanted to just add, you know, I talked a lot about Archangels, who they are, what they are, kind of how they compare to other spirit guides and entities. And I'd, I'd like to say, you know, I think it's really important to recognize that angels, any spirit guides for that matter, they are there for our support. And your most important support is your direct connection with spirit. Archangels and spirit guides are there to help you strengthen your connection to spirit, strengthen your connection with your own higher self to expand your own consciousness, to remember your own expansive, infinite consciousness. And they don't replace your direct channel to spirit. So archangels, they're these higher vibrational beings. They've long been believed to have been directly um, connected with humans, to have been created to help humans, divinely created. So I'd like to suggest, you know, thinking about archangels, if it feels right to you with that paradigm that of course, we're not here to, to worship them or to look at them as, as gods or, or God or spirit or God, goddess source. We are blessed to have them help us remember our connection with source, remember our expression through our own consciousness of source consciousness to mirror the higher vibrations that they send us in our own consciousness. So, so I like to just suggest that's how I see the archangels. I see them as part of the spiritual community, part of the spirit team that helps me connect with source. They certainly do not replace my direct connection with source. And, you know, I see everything, everyone in my life is an expression of source and yet nothing is the totality. Um, source is infinite and nothing replaces my connection with source. It can enhance my connection in my experience and my, in my viewpoint. And that's different than there's a difference in support and replacement, right? So, so I just like to throw that out there. If it's helpful to you, um, archangels are there for your support. Angels, spirit guides are there for your support. They're for help They're to help you. And they can help you connect with your own divinity, with your own connection to divine consciousness. Let's get into it, my angelic friends. Let's get into Archangel Zadkiel. I'm going to tell you what I perceived, what came up for me 
when I did my envelope divination. And then I'm going to share with you some knowledge and information and content research about what other folks have and other traditions have noticed. Do believe about Archangel Zadkiel. So when I tuned in, I tuned into this angel's personality and I felt a very charming, bright, caring, graceful angel. I also felt a strong, mysterious vibe, a very strong, mysterious vibe, and also felt self-restraint, a lot of things with this angel. And they all made sense when I did this research. So turns out with the bright Archangel Zadkiel is associated with the order of angels called the Chajmalim in the order of angels traditions, which is known as the brilliant ones. This is from, I believe the Kabbalistic tradition. And so there's that brightness. Um, this order of angels is known for being caring and graceful. So there's the caring and graceful part to Archangel Zadkiel's presence. And the mysterious vibe I was getting, you know, it's interesting. Archangel Zadkiel is associated with the violet ray. The violet ray is associated with the crown chakra. So this is higher consciousness, higher mind. And it's also associated with the planet Jupiter. Uh, Zadkiel is associated with the planet Jupiter, who's also associated with the, the higher mind, religion, expansive consciousness. So there's that mysteriousness. Self-restraint. So it turns out Archangel Zadkiel is believed to be the angel that held back Abraham from sacrificing his son and is also associated with the virtue of mercy. And so that's the Kabbalistic um, association, but also Christian and the virtue of obedience. So there's that self-restraint. So Zadkiel has all of these different dimensions to him. What an amazing angel. By the way, we are going to go into a little further in this episode, some creative ritual ideas for working with Zadkiel and helping, helping to, um, helping him help you, helping to open that channel for him to help you with all these amazing, um, specialties and powers that he bestows upon us. I saw the image when I was tuning in psychically, I saw the image of a boat, a cross and a shovel. Now, a little research, Archangel Zadkiel is associated with a dagger as an image because of the Abraham and sacrificing his son fiasco. And also he's associated with the scepter of a king in Kabbalistic traditions, um, the Jewish Kabbalah, because this, this um, Sephira or the branch of the tree that Zadkiel is associated with is um, associated with royalty and a king. So that might've been where I saw the shovel. The shovel might've been the dagger or the scepter. Um, the, there is a cross associated with Zadkiel and it's, it's an equidistant cross. And, you know, the equidistant cross reminds me how Zadkiel is associated with the number four, which is very grounding, um, which we'll get into in a little bit. There's also, you know, I think I might've also seen the cross because there's association with forgiveness with Zadkiel with mercy. You know, the mercy of Abraham did not have to sacrifice his son, the mercy and the forgiveness of Archangel Zadkiel is a really powerful component to this archetypal consciousness that you can call upon Zadkiel to help you with forgiveness. You can call upon him to help you with mercy. So I tuned into what this archangel can help with. This is what I got y'all money ideas, cleaning, clearing the clutter. Also nature, weather, beauty, charm, and agriculture. Very strongly. I felt money and ideas. So money and ideas and um, purification are all very heavily associated with that keel. Um, the other ones maybe in an indirect way. So money, so Archangel Zadkiel is, and this is more an esoteric text. If you look on a, of a book of archangels, you might not find this unless you're looking at more of a, a mystical esoteric type text, but he's associated with the planet Jupiter and he's associated in this way with money, with abundance, with prosperity. Jupiter is the planet of prosperity and abundance. And I got that very strongly when I tuned into this angel and with cleaning 
Zadkiel is associated with purification through forgiveness. You know, there's an association, an association with amethyst. If you ever work with anima, amethyst crystals, I feel they are very powerful cleansing crystals. So Zadkiel and amethyst together are, oh, that is, that is a purified vibration right there, my friend. You can work with Archangel Zadkiel to just purify in general and especially with forgiveness ideas. So I got a strong association with this angel, strong feeling this angel helps us with ideas and Zadkiel is associated with memory. You know, that crown chakra, not just the mind, but the higher mind associated with expansive ideas. Jupiter is also associated with Learn, higher learning, not just learning, but taking it to that higher level, higher learning, expansive ideas, higher mind. So in the Kabbalah, in the tree of life, Zadkiel is associated with Hesed or Shesed, depending on how you want to pronounce it, which is that branch of the tree that's associated with the archetypal force of organizing resources and making plans of higher ideas. It's very Jupiter. And it's also applied, applying those ideas into, um, to, to an action plan. So, and, and Zadkiel, this, this branch of the tree of life is associated with the number four, which is grounding foundation order. So Zadkiel can really help you. My friends can help you with organizing, with taking that raw force and, and organizing it and beginning to put some order to it of taking those creative ideas about um, creating more abundance, creating, you know, those goals and, and ground it for you. This is the message I got from Archangel Zadkiel. And this is when I knew, did not know what Archangel I was tuning into. I work with crystals and stones. I work with the earth. I'm eager to help all those who call upon me. I teach humans how to forgive and how to incorporate their ideas into their surroundings. I, re I teach people how to live with the land and how to live in harmony with the spirit of nature. I teach you how to use your money wisely. That was the message from Archangel Zadkio with, with my blind envelope divination. And... You know, these messages make so much sense to me after I did research and found there is this association with abundance and the, the earth qualities and putting your ideas, incorporating your ideas into your surroundings. Zadkiel can help you take your higher ideas and begin to take action to put those into, um, into a plan, into an action plan and forgiveness, how to use your money, how to organize your money. So Zadkiel, just to summarize, Zadkiel is associated with the violet ray, with this crown chakra. The violet ray is the archetypal consciousness of violet of the crown chakra. Higher mind, connected with amethyst, helps us achieve success through our higher mind, also through purification and forgiveness. As we forgive, it opens up the space. It opens up the window for blessings to flow in. It's Zadkiel helps us use our higher mind to create, to organize. Zadkiel is also associated with memory, education, learning. You can call upon Zadkiel for these. Elizabeth Prophet talks about an association with Zadkiel and alchemy, transmutation. I had a dream last night about melting gold. I know it was Zadkiel visiting me. Alchemy is transmuting the lower base consciousness into higher forms of consciousness. So Zadkiel can help you do just that. With the, with the memory association, I've called on Zadkiel a number of times to help me find lost objects. I once had a pendant that was very sentimental to me, had sentimental value. I'd lost it. I called on Archangel Zadkiel and I just had this intuition to go to my car. I was just kind of looking casually around my car and I just saw a glimmer in the grass and there was my pendant. That's happened to me a few times with jewelry. Zadkiel has intuitively directed me to where to find it. And Zadkiel is great for um, helping us with memory and um, anything having to do with, you know, mental mind, memory, study. 
So here's some ritual ideas. So call on him if you like. If you lost something, he can help you find it. Pay attention to your intuition. Um, if you're studying something, if you're a student or you're studying something or doing research, here's a here's an idea. Call up on Zach Heal before you start studying, before you start your study session or your research session, and ask him to help you re remember and retain what is most important from the material. This is a great intention setting practice that you can use. It helps to program your mind and Zach Hill can, can add support to that to help program your mind to remember what you want to remember, what's most important without you having to consciously try and orchestrate that. I found this is very helpful. Here's a creative abundance ritual idea. And this was directly coming to me from the Archangel um, inspired by Zadkiel. So Zadkiel is associated with abundance and helping you with that. First, I suggest you ask him to help you forgive all you hold any resentments towards anyone you hold any resentments towards, including yourself, because he's an expert on forgiveness and is very helpful when you ask for his help with that. And it can clear away that, that mental, emotional, spiritual clutter that is blocking you from receiving your highest good. Then call upon him to help you with finances and goals. Write down your goals. Then pull out, if you like, your weekly or monthly calendar, your, your physical one or your non-physical virtual one. And then ask him to show you the best days for taking action to increase your prosperity and increase your financial flow. You also might ask him to guide you what actions to take. But that heel would be very good to call upon for organizing these actions into a schedule. So look at your schedule, look at your calendar when you're doing this ritual, I suggest. And then pay attention to your intuition. You may get an intuition in that very moment, what days you're drawn to, what action steps you're intuitively feeling or envisioning. You might get signs in the next few days. You might have some synchronicities in the next few days that help you understand the best actions and the best timing for those actions, the best ways to incorporate that into your schedule to increase your abundance and organizing your time for more financial flow. Zadkiel is spectacular at this, you know, he's associated with that organizing principle, but also the principle of expansion and abundance. So it, you can call upon him to help you integrate it, work it all together, put that higher idea into an action plan. I have been so inspired to tap into the archangels as we begin this series. And I hope you found that helpful. I'm going to now tune to the energy of the week for the week of July 22nd, 2022. That's a lot of twos, a lot of, a lot of that two intuitive, feminine, cooperative energy. Um, and know that whenever you're hearing this podcast is the right time for you to receive this message. I'm going to pull, pull a few tarot cards for the week ahead. What does my audience need to know? Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, we've got five of cups, the devil, the emperor, eight of pentacles, and the queen of swords. I also believe it's no coincidence what archangel I'm pulling for what week. So we might have some. Um, we will have some. I can envision it now. We will have some archangel Zadkiel energy coming up this week. We're switching signs this week in the sun from cancer to Leo. And so we're switching into more of a, a Leonine energy. Um, I believe that happens on the 22nd. And this week you might wow. notice the Zadkiel energy that I'm talking about, that energy of forgiveness, organizing, abundance, higher mind, taking action steps towards your goals. So let me turn to these tarot cards for the week ahead and tell you what the energy is I'm feeling and the messages that are coming through. Well, I feel like, you know, with the five of cups and the, the, the devil uh, tarot cards, there's some letting go. There's some um, 
understanding what needs to be changed in order to move forward. And I feel like there might be some grieving a loss, letting go, allowing someone to, you know, be themselves, even if we disapprove or don't understand, how dare you be different than me? Um, and, and these cards help us to focus on accepting, accepting our own differences, accepting differences in other people. And, um, it might be a time of understanding there are different ways to get things done and opening our minds to creative solutions. Leo is a time of creativity. So the messages that I'm getting from these other cards, the emperor, the, the eight of pentacles, the queen of swords, I feel like the emperor is guiding us, my friend, this week to take a stand, to be confident, be that lion, be that Leo. Understand your best role as a leader. You might be a leader in your life. You might have um, other leaders in your life who are inspiring you, inspiring to bring the leader out in you. Um, understand your own leadership style and and personality and uniqueness. We're, we're leaders in different ways and it's okay to be unique. Eight of Pentacles, I feel like the message is, you know, it's okay to lose yourself in work sometimes. And sometimes life is more emphasized in one area than the other. And this week you might find um, there's lots to inspire you on the work front. And there's lots of people who inspire you. It, it feels like a very inspiring work. Um, inspiring work kind of vibration and quality to the week. So you might get, you might notice where you're getting more inspiration. You might admire other people who seem inspired by their work and want to emanate that in your own career, your own work routine and use your creative mind to figure out how you can incorporate more into your career, more into your work or your school or your routine that brings you inspiration just little sparkles of inspiration here and there queen of swords i feel like you know there might be some details that we want to get to this week the queen of swords is helping us to sort those out and to balance that with the big picture it feels like this week there's a big picture focus it's it's um the waning moon and the new moon is on the 28th so there's a waning moon and then, and then we're shifting to the new moon, what seeds we want to plant. But I feel like, you know, letting go of what we need to let go as the moon is waning. And then the, the queen of swords is helping us sort through what details do we need to address maybe here and there to help us move forward. And the emperor is helping us look at big picture. What are my big goals and how can I keep that inspiration and that, that, um, you know, higher mind energy flowing with my big visions as well as recognizing the sacredness of the details and addressing um, the smaller components, the day-to-day -day components. How can I address both? How can I keep both going and incorporate the inspiration um, as I address both? So my friend, I hope you have a beautiful, blessed week. Call an Archangel Zadkiel. See what, what the angels say to you as you call upon them. I'd love to hear your experiences. Drop me a line on my Facebook page, Creative Psyche Studio. Check out my website, creativepsychestudio.com. I am about to launch an intuitive dreaming webinar and then group. You can find out more about that on my website and more about my ongoing groups, Multidimensional Manifesting and Dream Circle. Uh, I am so grateful and appreciative and delighted you tuned in. I hope you have an abundant and spiritual and blessed week, my angels. I will look forward to continuing this Archangel journey with you next episode. Blessings and take care.